2022 was certainly a very interesting time for PC hardware. AMD's Zen 3 series of processors have been highly successful and Intel is ramping things up with their 12th gen Alder Lake launch. However, it's easy to get wrapped in launches of new hardware and forget about all the great older options. The AMD Ryzen 7 2700X is still a great processor, even after all this time. Pairing it with a great graphics card will allow you to put together a capable gaming rig. However, you will also need a capable motherboard for that. The 2700X is a processor that benefits from faster memory and does well with overclocking support. So a good motherboard will go a long way in lengthening the lifespan of this processor. Now, finding the right motherboard isn't exactly easy, but we've done most of the work for you. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from us. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number 5. ASRock B550M Steel Legend for the fifth entry on this list, we have the incredible performance of the ASRock B550M Steel Legend. The Steel Legend series has been in the gaming industry for a while. It's quite a legacy among AMD motherboards and AMD Ryzen fans. It definitely holds up against Strix gaming board models like the Asus ROG Strix B350F and even the Asus ROG Crosshair 6 Extreme. Just like ASRock's Tai Chi lineup, the Steel Legend series of motherboards focuses on providing the consumer with a good experience along with an interesting design since the series also focuses is heavily on design. That's truly what the B550M Steel Legend is all about. It is by far the best micro ATX motherboard for Ryzen 7 2700X. For the design, AS Rock uses a white and silver color scheme to draw the eye. This provides the B550 Steel Legend with an almost stainless steel appearance. This can be seen on both the heat sinks and the exterior. The chipset heat sink is combined with the shielding for the top M2 slot, providing it with a uniform look. This motherboard also features two M2 slots, but the second one does not feature any kind of heat sink or shielding. The rear panel cover features AS Rock branding all over it along with the VRM heatsink. It also has a controllable RGB zone there. As for the power delivery, the manufacturer is using a 10 phase 8 plus 2 VRM configuration. Even with overclocking, this is more than enough for the Ryzen 7 72700X. You also get good sound quality compared to other mid-range motherboards. Memory overclocking support is a bit limited as AS Rock officially states that the board supports 3466 megahertz with overclocking. Getting up to 3600 megahertz might not be too difficult but anything beyond that is likely not going to happen. Apart from that, you're getting access to a good selection of USB ports and other features such as a clear CMOS button. You even get more than one USB Type-C in the form of USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. The B550M Steel Legend is an excellent mid-range motherboard for most users, even if the BIOS needs a bit of work and the lack of Wi-Fi is a bit of a shame. If you can overlook these problems, then this is an excellent motherboard for the Ryzen 7 2700X for you. Number 4. AS Rock B450 Gaming ITX AC for the fourth entry, not only are we looking into ITX motherboards, but we have one of the best mini ITX motherboards for Ryzen 7 2700X. Of course, for this price, you'll have to put up with some compromises. There are other ITX options out there from Aorus and Gigabyte, or you could go with a B550 ITX motherboard. However, either one of those options is going to cost a lot. If you're looking for a gaming motherboard for Ryzen 7 2700X, then you're probably more focused on value. Taking that into consideration, this is by far the best mini ITX motherboard out there on a budget. The functionality of this cheap motherboard is hard to overlook. For example, it offers 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. Wireless connectivity is not a feature you expect at this price, so it's good to see that here. We acknowledge the fact that many people would like to use this motherboard for their home theater PCs or using it in a rig in their living room. For those purposes, having wireless connectivity is a must. It's good to see that AS Rock delivers in that regard. Fortunately, the power delivery design is quite good here. This isn't built for ridiculous overclocking capable processors, but the VRMs are more than capable for something like the Ryzen 7 2700X. Keep in mind that the max RAM speed is a bit limited at 3,466 megahertz. It can manage 3,600 megahertz speeds with a bit of tweaking, but nothing more. Not a major issue as 3,200 to 3,600 tends to be the sweet spot for Ryzen. The design is not much to write home about. While this is an extremely functional motherboard, it does look a bit basic and generic. The aesthetic downplays the value, since this board covers all the basic needs for a gaming motherboard. For example, the rear panel cover and power delivery heatsink are not present. Sure, AS Rock had to cut down on the price, but the addition of both would have added a bit to the design. Similar to other ITX boards, this one features a full-length PCIe slot. You also have an M2 slot at the back, which is PCIe Gen 3. The position of this slot is a bit unconventional. This motherboard also lacks hardware buttons. After taking all that into consideration, the AS Rock B450 Gaming ITX is still a very capable gaming motherboard for Ryzen 7 2700X. The network connectivity features and overall performance are proof of that. Number 3. MSI B450 Tomahawk Max 2 Sure, the 2700X is a very capable processor, 
answer. However, not everyone is going to pair it with an extremely high-end motherboard. That is why having a decent all-around B450 option is important. The best budget motherboard for the Ryzen 7 2700X still needs to offer great performance, value, and a good design. Fortunately, the MSI B450 Tomahawk can hold its own. The B450 Tomahawk Max 2 is an upgraded version of its predecessor. While it serves the same functionality, overall stability is improved. It even comes with an upgraded BIOS, so you can have smooth performance for longer. As for the design, this is a surprisingly good-looking motherboard for the price. The PCB of this motherboard is mostly black. There is minimal stenciling, allowing for a more stealthy look overall. When compared with the B350 Tomahawk, the heat sinks here are much larger than on the former models. It even features an RGB lighting zone near the right edge. This zone has eight RGB LED strip connectors, and they are controllable via the Windows software. Furthermore, this motherboard features two full-length PCIe slots, along with three times one slots. The top slot has metal shielding, adding to the overall overall durability of the motherboard. You get access to six SATA ports and a single M2 slot in terms of storage. One USB Type-C is also present here in the form of a 10 gigabyte per second port. BIOS flashback is another excellent feature that allows you to upgrade the BIOS without the presence of a processor. Unfortunately, there is a major downside. This budget motherboard lacks an ARGB header. This means that if you want to control the RGB lighting of your devices, you will need to buy a separate controller. The single M2 slot is also a con. Despite that, this is a very capable motherboard. The 4 plus 2 phase power delivery system does not seem like much, but it is more than enough for a processor like the Ryzen 7 2700X. You also get some of the best audio quality. Overall, this is is a great motherboard if you're on a budget. The overall value is too hard to ignore, and pairing it with the 2700X makes for an excellent gaming combination. A great bestseller option for the best motherboard for Ryzen 7 2700X. Number 2. Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite Next on our list, we have a premium X570 motherboard. For the motherboard to earn the best premium motherboard award, it has to outperform the competition. Not only does this include raw performance, but network features, connectivity, and value for money as well. Thankfully, the X570 Aorus Elite does all that and more. It is an excellent choice as the best premium motherboard for Ryzen 7 2700X. While the X570 Aorus Elite might be a bit expensive, it is still priced reasonably well against competitors. Considering the premium design, abundance of features, and high performance networking, it more than justifies its price. In terms of the design, the motherboard is immediately impressive. The overall aesthetic here is quite sleek, and the stealthy appearance allows it to stand out against other best gaming motherboard options. Much of this is thanks to the all-black design that many people love. The entire PCB is black with very minimal stenciling. The matte black finish on the heat sinks also looks appealing. These heat sinks are quite large as well, and this helps with the VRM cooling system. The chipset heat sink features the Aura's Eagle logo. Integrated RGB LEDs can be found on the rear panel cover and audio capacitors. As this is a premium X570 motherboard, it features three M2 slots, and they can all run at PCIe Gen 4. This is quite impressive for the price, however, only one of these slots features a proper heatsink. It has smooth performance and is a powerful motherboard for the Ryzen 7 2700X. It can house 128 gigs of RAM, which can be overclocked at 4733 MHz. The 12 plus 2 phase VRM design is robust and will prove to be more than enough for the Ryzen 7 2700X. Alas, there are a few minor downsides. For example, only one M2 slot features a heatsink and the on-off hardware button feels a bit cheap. Despite that, this motherboard is a great option for this gen of Ryzen processors. It performs admirably and allows you to access X570 features at a fairly reasonable price. Number 1. Asus Tough Gaming B550M Plus Choosing the right motherboard for our Editor's Choice Award was a bit difficult. There are many X570 and B550 motherboards out there that are excellent choices. However, we believe the Tough Gaming B550M Plus is the best choice for the Ryzen 7 2700X. First, let's talk about the design. The Tough Gaming series of motherboards look rather different from Asus ROG Strix B350F or the Asus ROG Crosshair 6 Extreme. They offer a different design and cut down on a few bells and whistles. Of course, this is done so that they can cut down the price. We don't see the usual sleek appearance and matte black finish here. Instead, the Tough motherboard features a yellow accent around the exterior to contrast the mostly black coloring. The board does look good, but the appearance might be a bit polarizing to some. The Tough branding is a play of words and actually means tough. Asus uses this branding because of the excellent construction of these motherboards. The sturdy PCB, hefty aluminum heat sinks, and overall premium construction are proof enough. The heat sinks on the power delivery are rather large and they blend perfectly with the gigantic rear panel cover. The yellow accents are also present on this rear panel cover. The same can be said for the chipset heat sink. While the design may be polarizing, it tends to grow on you. Moving on to the build, this micro ATX motherboard features four SATA ports and two M2 slots. Only the bottom M2 slots feature a chipset heat sink, which can be negative for some. Performance wise, it competes with most ATX motherboards out there. The 8 plus 2 phase configuration of the power delivery system is more than
more than enough for a second generation Ryzen processor like the 2700X. High frequency memory support also helps to make this one of the best motherboards for Ryzen 7 2700X. A few downsides include the top M2 slots missing heatsink and complete lack of hardware buttons. These minor inconveniences don't outshine the cost. This motherboard is a great choice for the Ryzen 7 2700X because of the cheap price and abundance of premium features. You will have to deal with the MATX small form factor, but you will get Wi-Fi 6, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, and a decent power delivery system. So what do you think? Which of these five is the best motherboard for you? Or do you think another motherboard's better for the 2700X? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.